I have no idea what Straight Drop, what message Straight Drop is trying to send. The man just died. The man is not even buried yet. And you decide to put out this video wearing the P-R-E keychain from your belt. Okay, wearing that symbol in this video with the man opposition. You in a video with the man opposition. And this is this is what I'm saying, man, about I seen a video with Dov and I seen him giving out PRE chains to certain individuals in, in, in the neighborhood. <clears throat> and everybody's around and everybody's smiley, smiley. Everybody's like, oh, and everybody's happy. But look what's happening now when the man is gone. You starting to see who's who for real and how they really felt about young Dolph. It's like if you alive right now, everybody's in your face, everybody's hugging you, saying all this stuff. And then when you drop that, those same people are stepping on your name, throwing dirt on your name. And even worse, imagine your crew, people you helped, people you look out for, People that supposed to be in your circle messing with your ops, eating dinner with them, drinking with them. I'm pretty sure they celebrated after they did this video. And to me, because that man is not properly buried, because that man is not properly put away yet, he hasn't even rest in peace properly. And it's kind of disrespectful. And it's violation. I mean, we looking at it. It's not like this one is made up. This, this is, look at the PRE symbol that he's wearing. Now, to me, this is them saying, F him. We together now. This is a ritual video. And you know what? It only made the conspiracy because we don't have no facts. We, we, we have a lot of conspiracy we have a lot of maybe, we have a lot of smoke, you know what I'm saying? But there's no fire yet. There's a lot of smoke, you know what I mean? And th them, it, to me, it's a ritual video taunting the whole situation. Like, why would you drop this video in the midst of all this? Why would you drop this video and people are accusing you? People are saying you one of the people involved. You on Front Street. Like, you would think that you would have, he would have, some respect for the dead. You know, this This is so unbelievable. And you know what? It's making me think, which it ain't nothing new. Um, not everybody's going to like you. And not everybody was really your friend. We done seen what happened in Harlem, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with those dudes, right? Y'all seen the movie, paid them for, y'all seen it. So my whole thing is that they knew who didn't like Dobb. They knew who wasn't genuine to him. And they put some money behind it. They put some money behind them. And to confirm it, was Dobb really messing with Straight Drop like that? I don't see him wearing the PRE chain. I never heard of Dobb, like, mentioning him or having him on a feature. I know Key Glock is down. Also, Snoop Bands uh, is, is, is confirmed to be uh, one of Dobbs' artists, but Straight Drop and, and uh, JoJo, JoJo Splat, I mean, you know, and, that, and that's how it is. You know, you got the guys, clearly he wants to be a star. And maybe Dobbs was taking too long with him. Maybe Dobbs didn't see the potential yet, you know. But whatever it is, something motivated him to switch sides Something motivated him to betray. This is betrayal. This is definitely betrayal. Now, it doesn't confirm that he's the killer. Now, y'all could run with it. And I know a lot of YouTubers going to run with it now that this video came out. But we still don't have no proof. We don't have no physical evidence linking him as one of the killers, the actual killers. But what we do have is this video. What we do have is this disrespect. What we do have 
is to showing you that not every nigga is your friend. The same dude you hanging with, them same dudes you drink with, them same dudes who come up to you. I love you, man. Watch it. Because as you see right here, hmm, as you see right here, I don't even need to say nothing. You, you looking at it. You watching it right here. Sean and HDTV.